Hello everyone, welcome to Maneuver, uh, one more podcast uh, of uh, MCA CT. So today we have Aryan. So with Aryan, we will try to understand everything related to his preparation strategy about his uh, uh, educational background, about his goal and uh, exam related everything. So first of all, welcome Aryan in this podcast session. Thank you. Okay, Aryan, first uh, we want to know where are you from and what is your educational background? Well, I am located in Chembur, Mumbai. Okay. And I come from my H of uh, my SSC. I have done from Vivekanand School, mm -hmm. and my SSC in which I took Commerce Stream. That mm -hmm. too, I have done from Vivekanand Junior College. Mm -hmm. In my SSC Commerce Stream, I took IT as an optional subject. Okay. In which I gained interest, and mm -hmm. thus I uh, sort of having a future in IT. That's why I took BSc IT as a stream. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. So, uh, basically, after BSc IT, then you want to do the MCA, which is master uh, program. Uh, so, uh, in which field, basically, uh, you are you want to make your career in IT? I'm more inclined towards ethical hacking and artificial intelligence. Okay, okay, okay. So, now coming to the next uh, important part. So, hope so, uh, student, those who are watching, so this conversation, which we are going to discuss about the exams, which will be very great, helpful for them. So now coming to the exam, M MHMCA CET exam. So after appeared this exam, after the result, what you feel it means, uh, what is the difficulty level of this exam as compared to NIM CET? The difficulty level compared to NIM CET that MCA CET is quite a bit hmm. low, uh, lower than NIM CET. Mm -hmm. It's quite easy to adapt. Only okay. the math, the corn section, it's a bit to the higher difficulty level. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, if I will talk about this, all the section, computer, English, reasoning, and uh, mathematics. So which one, uh, as you said, ki mathematics is a difficult section. So which section is easy and for you specifically, uh, for you especially, so, and which section is difficult? For me, coming from an IT background, computer fundamentals, I mm -hmm. it was way easier. And okay, yeah. apart from computer, logical reasoning was also well for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you said, computer section was easy. So mostly in actual exam, or concept sections, it means there is a data representation, data conversions, computer basic, and uh, uh, Windows, computer Windows, and uh, some arithmetic operation as well as network. So most of the questions were came from which section basically most of the question i felt they came from data conversion part and computer mm -hmm. basic parts that is windows operating system mm -hmm. and all that okay so uh basically uh next very important question so as as we can see here so your uh, score is 98.49 percentile so when you started the preparation for this mhmc cd exam uh, actually, I was in my TY when I started mm -hmm. for the preparation. Around the month of November, I had started my preparation, but my whole preparation thing was in parts mm -hmm. because we had our TY, SM6 exams, then the right. black book, the final project submissions. Mm -hmm. So, October and November, I dedicated fully to the NCA CET. Then, mm -hmm. in the December month, I had to make my project. So, I okay. did not study at all. Then from mm -hmm. January, I studied dedicated day for the CET examination. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to cover the entire syllabus in a smooth way, so what is the ideal time to start the preparation for this exam? The best ideal time might be June, July. Before one year? Yeah. Before one year, if someone will devote for this exam, so definitely they can score the 100 percentile or 99.99 percentile. Yes, exactly. But it depends on person to person. Like mm -hmm. if you're preparing along with your TY examinations, then you, I guess, have to start one and a half year before. Mm -hmm. But if you're free, you do not have, then one year is more than sufficient. Okay, okay. And uh, what do you think about the role of the classes during the preparation for this exam? Yeah, classes were quite a supporting factor for me. In fact, your manual education videos, the manual mm -hmm. MCA panel, I followed before the D day. That was the exam day. Mm -hmm. The computer. You, I think, had uh, posted a video about the computer for the right. top fifty questions. Correct, correct. It was of a huge help to me. Thank you for that, Adat sir. <laughs> How it was helpful. 
some of the topics that you covered that is uh, data conversion and computer mm. basic i think you covered 10 to 20 questions per right. topic mm-hmm. and they were more than helpful like not exactly the same questions but uh, some way or the other they mm-hmm. were more than helpful. I think three question was directly came in this exam. First one was the data conversion. Second was the tools complement. And one more question which was related to, I think, SQL something as a question. Uh, the SQL, I was actually in the afternoon slot. Mm-hmm. So for two questions I remember, they were exactly right. the same. One might be in the morning batch. The mm-hmm. so first shift, mein, uh, actually I already appeared, the first, my shift was the first, first shift. And in that shift, three questions were directly came from that uh, uh, top 30 question, top 25 question, which uh, yeah. I already discussed in YouTube. Okay, so how you come yeah. to know about the maneuver? Uh, through YouTube only. Huh, I started at first along with my preparations. Mm-hmm. I used to watch pod- podcasts. Okay. So that was a very motivating factor for me. And oh. then I came through with Dave Sir's daily planners, mm-hmm. your daily planners, weekly schedules. Those were like a very supportive and helpful factors throughout mm-hmm. the preparation so as you said uh, you came to know maneuver about uh, uh, after observing the podcast so now what is your feeling when uh, now you are in podcast and sharing your experience expectation tha? Mm-hmm. <laughs> very happy it seems like i have once i was watching these podcasts and now i'm a part of it now so you are a part of that achievement of okay okay so what was your first reaction when you saw your result uh, I uh, the CET cell this time released the mark mm. uh, like the scorecard. Before that, they released the like uh, response sheet, objection, grievance schedule. Mm-hmm. So, usme I was a bit demotivated. Mm. But when the results came, I was more than happy. Like, yeah. Kitna score ho tha? Kuch idea hai? If you want to Around... reveal, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. One twenty six to one twenty eight. 126 to 128. Okay. Okay. So according to that, uh, this percentile. So I think this is fine now because uh, for 99.99 percentile, ke liye, uh, mostly uh, my expectation, uh, 150, 155, 60, that, that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, now coming to the next most important part, which is a uh, role of mock test. What do you think? What is the role of mock test? Uh, in the preparation a journey of this such type of the entrance exam mock test it was really helpful like I hmm. gave around 20 mocks apart from the score we have in the mock test the time planning the mock test gave us mm-hmm. it is like it cannot be described in that way like we get right. to know how we need to manage each question the time we hmm. need to devote for each question mm-hmm. and all of that Okay, okay, because this is a very uh, my favorite question to all aspirant uh, in all podcasts because I want to understand ki unki strategy kya thi, how many mocks they attempted. So uh, this will be helpful for the new aspirant because बहुत सारे student होते हैं preparation तो करते हैं काफी अच्छे से preparation करते हैं but they hesitate to appear the mock test because उनको ऐसा लगता है कि mock क्यों लिखना so guys those who are watching this podcast our previous podcast you can understand the importance of the mock test because it's very important kitna bhi achche se preparation kar lo but self evaluation and for your evaluation how where you stand how how you are managing the time section wise jo bhi hai whatever you can you can practice in mock test now my next question uh, uh, to you aren ki what was your sequence to attend the different section in actual exam i had a uh, like in it we have a loop so mm-hmm. I attempted my paper in that way. First, I went to the mathematics path because yeah, that be was IT ke logic use ki. Okay, great. Okay. So, uh, for the mathematics path, the uh, questions that were easier, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. like one attempt me ho ja rahe the, Right. That I attempted first. Then I went to computers. Mm. Then English, logic, and again back to mathematics. Difficult wale. In the exam, the thing is, we need uh, we cannot give more than 40 seconds to one question correct so all the time that is remaining in other sections we can devote it to maths in the end mm-hmm. okay great so kafi important strategy and I, I already suggested in my youtube video ki just students should yeah, be yeah, use yeah. this strategy right so i think aapne follow that bhi kiya <laughs> or helpful bhi raha 
ओके सो बेसिकली जो लोग भी uh, इस पॉडकास्ट को देख रहे हैं या फिर मेरे प्रीवियस वीडियो देखा होगा तो उसमें भी मैं ऑलवेज uh, स्टूडेंट uh, को गाइड करता हूं क्योंकि ये बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट का गाइड होता है कि व्हाट शुड बी द सीक्वेंस टू अटेम्प्ट द ऑल द सेक्शन तो ट्राई टू अपीयर द ऑल इजी क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इन स्टूडेंट एज और कॉलेज भी रहता है तो बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट uh, होते हैं टाइम का प्रॉब्लम होता है एज वेल एज इन टूडेज टाइम द मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर फेसिंग द डिस्ट्रक्शन होता है एक तो डिप्रेशन डिस्ट्रक्शन बहुत सारे ऐसे मेंटल प्रॉब्लम काफी स्टूडेंट्स के रहते हैं तो उनके लिए आप क्या सजेस्ट करना चाहोगे कि ड्यूरिंग द प्रिपरेशन हाउ दे शुड टू मैनेज दर टाइम मेंटली और फिजिकली दोनों हेल्थी कैसे रहना मेंटली एंड फिजिकली आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट दैट टू लाइक अपने फ्रेंड्स को अपनी कॉलेज फैकल्टीज को टू मेक देम अवेयर दैट यू आर अपियरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम करेक्ट लाइक वो साइड से भी बर्डन थोड़ा कम हो लाइक फैकल्टीज इन माई कॉलेज देर इज अ मैम पुष्पा मैम शी इज माई मैथ्स फैकल्टी आफ्टर द कॉलेज आर शी यूज टू लाइक मेक मी गो थ्रू सम मैथ्स टॉपिक्स लाइक बेसिक अरेथमेटिक टॉपिक्स विच वो बेनिफिशियल फॉर द सी टी एग्जामिनेशन and apart from that friends and family also they do not put much pressure on us as they already know that we are preparing for a competitive examination mm mm-hmm. mm okay so okay the suggestion was to make them aware that we are doing something mm 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 okay rn so uh, a lots of thing we discussed with rn and about the exam about the preparations about the difficulty level and uh, distractions as well as uh, what should be the right sequence so hope so this podcast will be helpful for uh, the new aspirants those who are watching and uh, i want to understand uh, from your and aryan any final comment any final point which you can mention for the new aspirant they should to follow it if they want to get a better percentile 100 percentile 99 percentile uh, in this exam The only key for the CET examination is consistency. Like we'll face a lot of distractions throughout. Man, nahi karega padne ka. But hmm. daily, at least two hours, if we practice the con, the logical reasoning, we read hmm. the book. Word power made easy. Right. Word power made easy. Nothing more than easy to crack the CET examination. Hmm. Any any other point? And also the daily preparations. The hmm. like uh, the. daily timetable the weekly monthly timetable dev sir and mm-hmm. asad sir you guys gave us right. that is more than helpful right right so very important point which you mentioned consistency is very important for the english word power made easy and uh, one more one or two point i would like to add for example as early as possible they should to start and uh, uh jo consistency and practice is very uh, very important so if these steps someone follow so definitely they will get a better score by the way so hope so guys those who are watching this podcast and uh, this will be helpful for them and once again thanks thank uh, thank you rn to come here to share your experience with us and uh, uh, with our new aspirant pleasure is all mine sir so wish you all the best rn for your uh, better future thank you thank you so much